Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you this morning? God bless you. God bless you this morning. How are you guys doing? Hallelujah. We just thank God for this day. And this morning is going to be a good day. Thank God for waking us up in our right mind. Because we could have woke up this morning and we could have been a reprobate or we could have just never woke up this morning. But we thank God that we did wake up this morning. We woke up this morning and God is a good God and we just thank him for it. Please share the broadcast as you come in. Share the broadcast so someone can be blessed by the word of the Lord. Amen. Um, God is a good God and uh, I just thank him for the more I pray, the more I become numb to people's foolishness, I shall say. And I thank God for it because, you know, the more we, we seek the Lord and the more we, we just, God bless you, um, Pastor Roberts, Apostle Roberts, the more we seek the Lord and the more we, we get close to him, um, you know, oh, just one second, you guys. Um, the more we seek the Lord and the more we, we get closer to him, people's foolishness doesn't affect you anymore. And um, God bless you, Michael, Tuma. God bless you. God bless you this morning. And I just thank God. I just really thank God. Uh, Pastor Roberts, can you tag me? I'm sorry. Um, oh, you already did. Thank you. I just want to thank God because it is... Um, it's a lot of foolishness going on, and um, to me, it's kind of funny <laughs> because God is a good God, and uh, you can't stop me. You 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 know you can't affect me anymore. The enemy used to affect me with a lot of things, but now I'm so numb to it that it doesn't bother me anymore. So, to me. When I'm up here talking and speaking things, um, I don't need no one to take anything personal because what I'm saying is from God. And a lot of people are taking things personally, which is not personal. Amen. It, it's not personal. Anything that I say, it, it's the Lord leading me to say it. So people getting in their feelings and, 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 and stuff like that, please don't don't. If you feel like you have a problem with what I'm saying, I think you should take it to the Lord because it has nothing to do with me. I am very humble, very happy to be here because God allowed me to be here. And I thank God for even, even having me here. But when I'm on here, I'm going to do what God says, period. I just needed to say that. I needed to clear some things up because I think it's a bunch of, uh, of foolishness. I just really do. And, and I think we're still dealing with a jealousy. And I don't understand what's wrong with the body of Christ with that. I, I really don't understand. And I am saying these things because I know the Holy Spirit is leading me to say it. And it needs to stop. We are not in competition. If we're going to preach something, we need to, you know, practice what we preach. That's what I'm saying. We need to practice what we preach because it's foolishness to me. And, I, and I'm not going to entertain the devil's, the devil's craziness. I'm not. I'm not going to entertain him. I'm not going to entertain him because it's foolishness to me. I just needed to get that out. God bless you guys. I thank you guys for being on here. You know what we do every morning. Ask God to pour more love in us. And um, creating us a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within us. Father God. Lawns good it up about the truth. Press plate of righteousness. Feet shot with the preparation of peace. Show the faith. Helmet of salvation. Soul to the spirit which is the word of God. We put the whole armor on every day. I bless each and every one of you for being here. Please share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Share the broadcast because there are people that need to hear this. And we're going to talk about a few things. And I'm going to try to uh, get, get started because 
there's some things that God is showing me and makes no sense. I, 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 like I said, God bless America. God bless God's people. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Cancel negative words spoken into our lives. You guys know I'm going to do this every morning because every, every day the enemy is speaking words against us. Limitation 3, 37, Numbers 23 and 8. Blood of Jesus Christ, wash us and make us whole. Our maker and father have mercy on us and deliver us from this every satanic pronouncement. My God, and pronouncement, that doesn't mean just coming out of the mouth of the people. That means also in their mind. Because there's some things that they're saying, they're not speaking it out, but they're thinking. They're thinking it, so it's the same thing. My God and my father arrest and paralyze every evil tongue that rises against me and us holy ghost fire locate and paralyze every tongue pulling us down holy ghost fire paralyze every evil word program into the sun moon and the stars and to limit our destiny holy ghost fire paralyze every witchcraft word used to reduce our lives every word will never make it in life receive the fire and be canceled every word spoken by any man or woman that will never make good life receive fire and be canceled every word spoken by any of our relatives to keep it, uh, keep us in one place, receive fire, break and scatter every evil word issue against us in the night to limit our life, receive fire and be canceled. Every evil word issue in the day to limit us, receive fire, break and be canceled. Every curse issue against us by our mother and our father, receive fire, break and be released. Release us in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire, break and scatter every word, limiting us from the, our place of birth. I release ourselves from every evil word issued against us from our father's house, our mother's house, whosoever that is renewing evil words against us day and night, receive stones of fire and be exposed and be wiped away. Every witchcraft pronouncement made against us and our destinies receive fire scattered by pieces, every occult degree a raise to pull us down, scatter and be canceled. Oh Lord, our father arise. Let your plan and your word stand in our lives. Every word spoken by the strong man of our father's house against our life break and be canceled. Every evil word that is limiting us. Your time is over. Receive fire and be canceled. They that wage war against our greatness. Holy Ghost fire, blood of Jesus, pull them down. Blood of Jesus Christ paralyzing every word spoken against us by the water spears. Every word spoken and sealed with any blood against our destiny. Receive fire, receive fire break, and, and scatter. Every secret word and em, embargo tying me down, break, tying me down, tying us down, break and scatter to pieces. Holy Ghost fire locate and wipe away any personality cursing us day and night. I fire back to senders every evil word and decision arise against us. Blood of Jesus Christ, cancel every word spoken to uh, written to stand against our lives. Every pronouncement blocking our uh, open door, receive fire, be wiped away. Oh Lord, our Father, open our, our great doors and restore our glory to, to us. Be the power of the Lord. By the power of the Lord, I reposition ourselves to greatness and excellence. Our maker and father rewrite every statement concerning our destiny. Prophecy and speak. We got to speak these good things every day over our lives. To your glory, oh God. We must become who you created us to be. We must become who God created us to be. And the reason why I read this every day, and I know it seems like I'm being repetitive, because every single day the enemy has people doing stuff. I'm going to deal with familiar spirits. And then I'm going to deal with, uh, uh, if I have enough time, I'm going to deal with busy bodies. Cause, <laughs> and I'm going to deal with, with gossip. Because it's going on right in the body of Christ. It's going on. It's going on. It's going on. It's going on. Deliverance from familiar spirits and monitoring spirits. Behold, Colossians, Isaiah 54 and 54 and 15. Behold, they shall surely gather together. They shall gather together. But not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. And I'm talking about the body of Christ. I'm serious. I, I, the Lord, I, that's in my spirit today. The body of Christ. Behold, they shall, uh, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. We're doing this. Behold. Jesus. 
I take authority and come against all familiar spirits assigned to me, to us, and our family members. All spirits of confusion, lies, deception, division, discord, argument, discontent, seduction, lust, perversion, and all of, and all of their kinder and underlying spirits. We bind all of them. In the name of Jesus right now, we bind all the all their physical, psychic, spiritual attacks, assignments, and operations, all of their seedings, works, plans, activities, blueprints, plots, plans, designs, traps, wiles, snares, assignments, all curses, hexes, vexes, which bewitchment, enchantments, cantrips, ligatures, and judgments of witches and warlocks, all acts of evil, sorcery, witchcraft, magic, candle, magic. Portion magic, white magic, black magic, voodoo, all blood packs, blood sacrifices, blood covenants of witchcraft, all national and con con uh, continental witchcraft workings and curses, all demonic thoughts, threats, mental lo locutions, statements, and idealities, all self-inflicted curses through negative confessions. All curses spoken over us, our children, our family members, and any such curses spoken over formed against or directed at any of us, marriage, families, possessions, health, safety, welfare, jobs, and income, our physical bodies or lives, all that they or will are have or possess. I take all of these things into captivity of Christ and by faith call them all canceled this morning. Made null and void, never manifest and never come to pass, cursed and destroyed at the root, and rendered of no effect, judged, spoiled, never seated, see cast down as vain thoughts and imagination is spoken off of our of, of us, our spouse, our children, and family members, all immediately, completely, permanently, and continually. I cut and sever all ties, bonds, cords, and soul ties. I now break their communications and supply lines and bind up and off of um, all reinforcements. I speak and decree upon them spiritual confusion, deafness, dumbness, blindness, incapitation, paralysis. I throw all of their plans into continual confusion and disarray and decree all of these things accomplished immediately, completely, permanently, and continually all by trusted and ex expectant faith in Christ Jesus. Name of your Lord and glory be to God. Father, this day I bind Satan and all territorial spirits, every principality, powers of rulers of darkness, wicked spirits in high places. I take divine authority over every familiar spirit, spirits above them, around them, be below them, known or unknown. I bind them all with all their assignments against our spouse, children, family members, all on assignments against all that we are, have, and possess. We break loose from their operations. I break their power and communication lines. I break their supply lines. I curse all of your works. I break their power and communication lines. I break their supply lines. I curse all of their works and assignments at the very root. I speak spiritual deafness, dumbness, blindness, confusion, par par paralysis, and incapitation upon each and every one of them and throw all of their plans and activities into continual confusion and disarray through the spirit of power and the might of the Holy Spirit. I bind their watcher agents, scanner agents, track agents, eavesdropper agents, eavesdropping. Hmm. And divatory spirits agents and all on assignments up their chain of command. But we don't say we don't have demons that, that, that we don't, you know, there's no demons and some things is personality. No, some of y'all got demons. Some people, some people just have spirits and they like to keep confusion up. They just like to keep mess going. And I'm talking to some leaders too. They like to keep mess going and God sees you and God is going to set you free because if you don't get set free, he's going to move you. Out your position because you don't need to be there because you're not supposed to be uh, uh, throwing out uh, confusion in the body of Christ. Yeah, I'm in the Holy Ghost today. I'm in the spirit today. Trust me. Trust me. I'm in the spirit today. Jesus, I bind them up and off from each other and from all mentioned. My loved ones, from me, from us. 
I loose us all from them along with all that we are, have, and possess. I now decree that all that I have spoken and do speak has already come to pass in the rim of the spirit. I decree that from henceforth, they are unable to see, hear, or understand our moves, our speech, that they are unable to track us or watch our activities, that they are turned against themselves and cannot carry out their assignments. No assignments against us today. Blueprints, plots, plans, designs, seeds, works, plans, and activities. All wiles, traps, and snares. I take them all captive to Christ. And cast them down as vain thoughts and imaginations along with all demonic and cast them down as vain thoughts and imagination along with all demonic ministry to our thoughts, to, uh, to our thought life. I break off of us curses, hexes, vexes, bewitchment, enchantment, spells, cantrips, ligatures, judgments of witches. Or warlocks, all acts of evil magic or witchcraft, all black magic, white magic, candle magic, portion magic, soul ties, binders, workers, voodoo, sorcery, blood packs, blood sacrifices, blood covenants. Coffee, please. Blood covenants, animal sacrifices, all occult practices of any kind. I bind them. I loose us from them. I break them off of us. I curse them all at the roots. I declare them all made null and void. Cancel never manifested. Never come to pass curse and destroyed at their root. Rendered of no effect. Cast down as vain thoughts and imagination and never seated judgment and spoil all in Christ Jesus. Power of God. Destroy every foundation of familiar spirits in our family. In the name of Jesus, the foundation of familiar spirits in our father's house, our mother's house, die in the name of Jesus. Every soul tie with familiar spirits break to pieces now in the name of Jesus. Every seat of familiar spirits receive the thunder of fire of God in the name of Jesus. All oh, Lord, let the habitation of familiar spirits become desolate in Jesus name. Every throne of familiar spirits be dismantled by fire in Jesus name. Every stronghold of familiar spirits be pulled down by fire in the name of Jesus. Every diver of familiar spirits be rendered impotent in Jesus name. Every network of familiar spirit be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Every communication system of familiar spirit be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every transportation system of familiar spirit be disrupted in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the weapons of familiar spirit turn, turn against them and in, in the name of Jesus, I would draw my blessings from every bank of strong Room of familiar spirits in the name of Jesus. O altar of familiar spirits, break in the name of Jesus. Every familiar spirits, padlock fashion against me, break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every trap of familiar spirits, rose by fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every familiar spirits, utterance and project made against us be overthrown in the name of Jesus. I reverse every familiar spirit, burial. Fashion against us in the name of Jesus. I deliver our souls from every bewitchment of familiar spirits in the name of Jesus. I reverse the effect of every summon to my spirit by familiar spirits in the name of Jesus. Every familiar spirit identification mark be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. I frustrate every familiar spirit exchange of virtue in our, in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, destroy every familiar spirit's manipulation fashion against us. And in the name of Jesus, every spell and enchantment programmed against us by familiar spirits be destroyed in the name of Jesus today. Every covenant with familiar spirits melt by the blood of Jesus. I would draw every organ of my body, every organ of our body from any altar of familiar spirits in Jesus name. Anything planted in our lives by familiar spirits, come out now, die in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, cancel every initiation of familiar spirits against our destiny in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual marriage with familiar spirits be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I reverse every evil pattern of familiar spirits from our destiny in the name of Jesus. Every cage of familiar spirits, cage in our life be destroyed in the name of Jesus this morning. Father, all in Christ Jesus, we thank you, Father, ahead of time for already having heard and answered these prayers in Christ Jesus. We give you all the glory. 
We give you the greatness, thanks, and praise, Father. You perform your work on our behalf. And everything that I just spoke, Jeremiah 112, Job 22, 28, that your word is absolutely true, John 17, 17, and that you are not a man that you shall lie, Numbers 23, 19. Glory be to God, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you this morning for binding these familiar spirits. And now I'm going to go ahead and get on to, let me see how much time I have. I'm going to go ahead and talk about, let's talk about the busybody. And then I'll, let's talk about the gossip because there's a lot going on about the gossip. And I still got some stuff on fear, but we'll talk about that later let's talk about let's get let's talk about the gossip that's going on people spread gossip to be noticed and to gain attention because you're not getting no attention because somebody's talking better about somebody else than they talking about you gossip is a nasty habit when a person gossip he deceives and slanders another person while pretending to be a good sport and friend The gossip is as dangerous as an ins insane person with a gun, fury darts, or a sharp knife. Again, we're going back to jealousy because this is what this comes from. As a man, insane, man who casts and throws, fire bands, darts, shoots, gun, arrows, and death is the man, person that deceives his neighbor and says, am I, am not I in sport? Are not I your good friend to tell you these things? Proverbs 26, 18 and 19. Where there is no gossip, there should be no tension. Where no wood is, there the fire goes out. So where there, where there is no tail burying, the strife cease. Proverbs 26 and 20. Gossip hurts as bad as a wound. My God. Jesus. The words of a tear bear are wounds and they go down in the innermost part of the belly. Proverbs 26, 22. A person who hates another person will heavily gossip about him or her. He that haveth another person dismantleth with his lips and layeth up the seat within him. When he speaketh fair, nice things, believe him not. For there are seen abominations, disgusting things in their heart. Proverbs 26, 24, and 25. If a person opens up a conversation with you in order to gossip about your friend, what can you do? Don't answer him. Don't tell him what he wants to hear. Don't say nothing. Tell him, have a nice day. You got to go. You're busy. Something. Answer not a fool according to his folly. Least thou also be like unto him. Proverbs 26 and 4. Gossipers are not very intelligent. They tell everything they know. A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in still afterwards. Proverbs 29 11. God bless you, everyone, and continue to share the broadcast. Share the broadcast, please. Share the broadcast because people need to hear this. They need to hear it. God bless you, uh, Letty, Virgil. God bless you. God bless you, Aaron. God bless you. God bless each and every one of you that's on this line. Jamie, God bless you. God bless you. God bless all of you. Please share the broadcast so someone can receive a blessing from the Lord because they need to know what's going on. And this is happening in the body of Christ. We just can't stop being jealous. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. Because at the end of the day, you're not hurting anybody but yourself. That's what you're hurting. God bless you, Teresa. God bless you. You're hurting yourself. That's what you're doing. A person who hates another person will inhabitably gossip about him. He that have another person dissembleth with his lips 
and lieth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair nice things, believe him not. For their area, uh, for there are seven abominations, disgusting things in their heart. Proverbs 26, 24, and 25. Gossipers are not very intelligent. We already went over that. According to the Bible, if you listen to a gossiper, you are just as wicked as he or she is. A wicked doer gaineth, giveth heed, listens to a false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. Proverbs 17 and 4. Idleness may promote a person to gossip just to have something to do. Just to have something to do. Get in your word. Read your Bible. That's something to do. That's something to do. Stay off the phone. Stay off the phone. Ever since I've been on here, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. To, to, to. Sometimes I'll answer my phone, but sometimes I care not to be on the phone. Cause I be full. Of, I be so full of the Holy Ghost. I don't even want to be bothered. And I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna keep it one hundred. And that's why now when I see things that don't even bother me, I'm gonna just let y'all let it know, be known. It's like uh, somebody pouring oil on the back of a duck and it slides off. Because you're just letting me know how immature you are and how you really feel about me without really telling me how you feel about me. But I bless you anyhow. Yeah, I'm in the spirit today. I'm I'm telling you I'm in the spirit today. I don't I don't come in here prophesy all the time, but I'm in the spirit today. Idleness may promote a person to gossip. Just to have something to do, they learn to be an idol, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but tell, tell tellers also and busybodies speaking things which they ought not to. First Timothy 5 and 13. That's why I love when God brings me here because everything he tells me to do, it comes with, a, with the word of God. The word of God. To gossip is to bear false witness. Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, and thou shalt not bear false witness. And what do we do when we're jealous of a person? When somebody wants to leave your church, you want to you want to you want to be a false witness and tell lies on them because you didn't want them to leave, but instead of you coming talking to them face to face and just you know making it right between you and them and God, no, you go and and you speak lies. And this is for leaders. Stop telling people if they leave your church, they're going to die. The devil is a liar. That doesn't come from God. That is straight evil and come straight from the pits of hell. It's straight demonic. Stop telling God's people that because they don't belong to you. They can leave if they want to. And if God tells them to leave, they should leave. They should run. I am not, not, not one of them Preachers that's going uh, a sugarcoat nothing. I'm not. And I'm going to do it in love. And everything I'm saying, I'm saying it in love. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you because God is not happy with what's going on in the church. He's not happy. He's not happy. Christians should never be guilty of gossip. Gossip is the opposite of goodness. God lines. And an ungodly man person diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is a burning fire. Proverbs 16, 27. Gossip can break up good friends, a forward man person, save his tribe, and a whisper. Gossiper separates chief friends. Proverbs 16, 20, 28. He shut up his eyes to devise forwarding things, moving his lips. He bringeth evil to pass, Proverbs 16, 30. And I say, you know what? It's not, it doesn't just come from them just speaking. It comes with their thinking too. When you have the Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something. I thought about something yesterday. Just in my mind, I just thought about something. And I, before I could even finish thinking about it, it happened. I'm telling you. There's power in the spirit of God. There is power in the Holy Ghost. If we can just get our minds and our spirit to line up with his word, I promise you. He said, greater work shall you do. Jesus was a bomb in Gilead. What you think going to happen with you? Be careful who you trust. Your innermost secrets with. 
Better make sure he is a good, uh, fearing, born again Christian. A tear bearer rele releases secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Proverbs 11 and 13. Warning every warning. Everything we say and do will reveal when we stand face to face with God. Jesus said, for there is nothing covered that shall not be, be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have uh, spoken, darkness shall be heard in the light. And that which you have spoken in the dark, in the closet, gossiping behind closed doors and think that God don't see you, shall be proclaimed upon the housetops, everyone here. Luke 12 two and three. Christians should stay away from people who meddle in other people's affairs with those who use exclusive flattery. Stay out of people's business. Why, why are you in somebody's business anyway? Don't you got a lot? Nobody should be in the anybody's business. You should be worried about getting the style out your own eye because it's <laughs> get the, get the, I say, I call it a brick. Get the brick out your own eye before you get the brick out of somebody else's eye. Cause it ain't even a, it ain't even a little brick. It's a big brick. When you're doing all of that, come on now. Christians should stay away. Would you want to have a reputation of, of a gossiper? When a good man is better. To silver and gold, a good name is rather to be chosen than riches and, and loving favor with God, rather than silver and gold. Proverbs 22 and 1. Parents should never gossip because the children will imitate them. Parents need to train their children at the early age not to gossip. And if you're not to just don't even, they shouldn't even be around adults' conversation. Thy own mouth. Condemn thee, condemn thee, and not I, yea, thy own lips testified against thee, Job 15 and 6. A gossiper's pastime is to meddle, so he always have fresh gossip to pass on. It is a, a for a man or person to cease from strife, but every fool will be, meddle, be meddling, Proverbs 20 and 3. Gossip is wicked, mischief, and sin. A messenger of gossip will fall into message, but a faithful ambassador Christian is health, peace, love, and prosperity. Proverbs 13 and 1. Christians are commanded not to gossip. Shall not go up and down as a tail barrier among thy people. Neither should stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. It's in Levitic Leviticus, but I don't have the actual number, but it's in Leviticus. Dear God, please forgive us for all of our sins. We are 100% not trying to gossip. We have hurt others through this sin. We have respect, goodwill, and friendship because of this terrible habit. We ask you for forgiveness. Help us to clean up our conversation, not gossip anymore. Diligently trying to think what Jesus says before we open our mouth. Please help us to restore faith in our hearts and not speak against others. We know, Father God, and we, dis we that we have disappointed you. No more do these things we have done in the past. Come into our lives. Help us clean our hearts and help us not to gossip. Help us not to gossip. Busy bodies. A Christian commandment by God not to be a busy body. Let none of you suffer. Be found guilty as a murderer, a thief, or a evildoer as a busy body in other man's matters. 1 Peter 4 and 15. God wrote fair and just rules for Christian's conduct. God says idleness promotes a person to become a busy body. Busy body. Busy body. Going through people's Facebook, watching what they're doing, you know, trying to figure out what they're doing, what they're not doing. And let's be honest, we all do. We be on that Facebook trying to figure out what's going on in somebody else's life, worrying about what they're saying and what they're not saying. 
with and with with all they learn to be idle warning about from house to house and not only idle but altars also any busybody speaking things which they ought not to speak first timothy 5 and 13 busybodies are usually people who do not work they are idle and idleness has always been the devil's workshop and I could say that it's not only people that, that don't work. There are people that work that does it too. They find a time, even if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, <laughs> two minutes. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. Now, them that are such disorderly busybodies, we command and exhort, warn, advise by the Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. Second Thessalonians 3, 11 and 12. Busybodies who spreads what he hears is a fool. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. Proverbs 10, 21. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. Proverbs 10 and 14. A God rule to follow. Let your speech be better than silence. Otherwise be silent. If you don't have nothing to say, just don't say nothing. If you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs 18, 21. Busybodies, do you remember the golden rule? It goes like this. Jesus speaking. Therefore, all these whosoever ye would that man should do to you, do you even so to them. For this is the law and of the and the prophets. And this is Matthew 7 and 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would you would that man should do to you, do you even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Would you want people to get into your personal business and repeat anything you might not want repeated? Then then memorize that verse and live by it. If a busybody has done you injustice first, forgive them, forgive them, whether he asks you for or not, just forgive them. Second, pray for him and or her and, li and love him or her anyway. For loving and forgiving example may lead him to the Lord. If he is a sinner, your gentleness may lead him to return to the Lord. If he is a backslider, Jesus said, but if ye do not forgive, neither will your father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Mark eleven twenty six. 26. How many times should we forgive? Then came Peter to him. Jesus said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. Jesus said unto him, I say unto thee until seven times, but until 70 times 70. Matthew 18, 21 and 22. God's advice to busybody is whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. First Corinthians 10 and 31. Busybodies can be careful what you hear and say. Take heed what ye hear with what measure ye you me repeat what you heard and it shall be measured out to you. Mark 4 and 24. Here is good verses for the busybody to memorize. Let thy words of thy mouth and the meditation of thy heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Psalms 19 and 14. Dear God, we admit we are busybodies. So ashamed. We quit this evil habit. We ask you to forgive us. We ask you to help us mind our own business. Mind your own business. And I'm talking to everybody. I'm talking to the leaders too. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. What, what people are doing and what people are saying. or Talking about what they said. Where they came from. Their testimonies. It's none of your business. Be grateful that God even allowed them to share to you. So you can be set free. It is not your business to talk about them. I... Uh, <clears throat> We know that our tongues has gotten us into a lot of trouble. Remind us when uh, we, we start 
to ask questions and gossip that we should be repeatedly scriptures instead. Give us wisdom to mind our own affairs. Teach us to control our uh, curiosity and our tongue. We don't need to be busy bodies. We don't need to be busy bodies. We need to mind our own business. And I know I'm in the spirit because God told me to read these. I know he told me to read these because we need to mind our own business. We need to mind our own business. And fear, let's, let's, let's go back to the spirit of fear. The fear of the Lord. The Bible mentions two specific fear. The first type is beneficial and is to be encouraged. The second type is determined and it is to overcome. The first type of fear is the fear of the Lord. This type of fear does not necessarily mean to be afraid of something. Rather, it is a uh, um, it's a law of God, a, re a reverse of for his power and glory. However, it is also a proper respect of for his wrath and anger. And or, in other words, the fear of the Lord is a total acknowledgement of all that God is, which comes through knowing him and his attributes. For the for the for the fear of the Lord brings with it many blessings and benefits, and it is the beginning of wisdom and leads to good understanding. Psalms eleven, one hundred eleven and ten. Only fools despise wisdom and discipline. Proverbs one and seven. Furthermore, fear of the Lord leads to life, rest, peace, and contentment. Proverbs nineteen twenty three. It is the foundation of life. Proverbs fourteen twenty seven and provides a security and a place of safety for us. Proverbs fourteen twenty six. Thus, one can see how fearing God could be encouraged. However, the second type of fear mentioned in the Bible is not beneficial at all. This is the spirit of fear mentioned in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and in a sound mind. A spirit of fearfulness and timidity does not come from God. However, sometimes we are afraid. Sometimes this spirit of fear overcomes us. And to overcome it, we need to trust in and love God completely. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made in perfect love. First John 4 and 18. No one is perfect and God knows this, but it is why he is liberally uh, sprinkled encouragement against fear throughout the, the Bible, beginning in the book of Genesis, continue through the book of Revelation. God reminds us not to fear. For example, Isaiah 41 and 10 encourages us not to not to fear, for I am with you. Do not be anxious and look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Often we fear the future and what we become, what will become of us. But Jesus reminds us that God cares for the birds of the air. So how much more will he provide for his children? So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Matthew 10, 31, just these few verses cover many different types of fear. God tells us not to be afraid of being alone, of being too weak, of not being heard, of lacking physical necessities, plus uh, these um, ad 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 admissions continue throughout the Bible covering the many different aspects of the spirit of fear. Psalms 56 and 11, the psalmist writes, And God, I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? This is the awesome testimony to the power of trusting God. Regardless of what happens, the psalmist will trust God because he knows and understands the power of God. The key to overcoming fear then is total, complete trust in God. Trust in God is a refusal to give in to fear. It is turning to God even in the darkest times and trusting him to make things right. This trust comes from on, from knowing God and knowing that he is good. As Job said, when he was experiencing some of the most difficult trials recorded in the Bible, though he slay me yet, will I trust in him? We must learn to trust God in every situation. We must learn to trust him. Once you have learned to put your trust in God, we will no longer be afraid of things that come against us. We will be like Psalmist who said, with confidence, let all who Take refuge and you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them that those who love your name may rejoice in Psalms 5 and 11. I praise God. I thank God. What he given me today. 
I know that he gave me this for a reason. And I'm not going I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing cuz that's what that's not what I do. When God tells me to say something, I'm going to say it that's who I am. And uh we need to stop it. We need to stop it because it's in it's in the body. Oh, he wouldn't have me talk about it. It's in the body. It's in the body. We need to stop it. We need to really stop doing that because God is not pleased with it. He's not pleased with it. And he's not you think you're going to get blessed by doing these things? You're not. And you wonder why your blessing is being held up? You might want to check yourself. Check and see what's going on. Check and see what's going on with you. Because obviously, obviously something is wrong and God is not pleased with it. He's not, oh, excuse me, God is not pleased with it and he's going to deal with it. He's going to deal with the busy bodies. He's going to deal with the lion, the familiar spirit. The spirit of, of, of monitoring, monitoring people. We, we don't have the right to do these things. I don't understand what, 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 what even possessed people to do these things. We're supposed to love one another. Jesus is coming back. He's coming. And what, what are you going to do? He, you're going to be, you're going to have to be accountable for everything you do and say. I'm going to pray this prayer over us and then I'm going to um, end because I, 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 I just don't understand, but it's not for me to understand. I come on here. I come on here because God tells me to come on here. I don't come on here just, just to come here. God allows me and tells me to come here to do these things and, and, and teach these things because these things are going on. Um, I'm going to pray against the spirit of Leviathan and marine spirits. These spirits are very real. They're very real. They're very, very real. They're around us every day, whether we want to like it or not. They're around us. And if we don't put our armor on and continue to uh, put the word of God in us, we're going to experience some, some, some stuff. Oh, Lord, break the heads of the dragon in the water. Psalm 74, 13. Cut off the head of every hybrid in the name of Jesus. Break the heads of Lathiathan in pieces. Psalm 74, 14. Punish Lathiathan, the piercing serpent, even Lathiathan, the crooked serpent, with your with your sword, great and strong word. Isaiah 27 and 1. Slay the dragon that is in the sea. Psalms 27 and 1. I break all curses of pride. Lathiathan from our lives. In the name of Jesus. Rip the scales of Lathiathan. Job 41 and 15. Break the strength of Lathiathan's neck. Psalms 18 and 40. Break the stony heart of Lathiathan and crush it into pieces. Job 41 and 24. Break the teeth of Lathiathan and pluck the spoil out of his mouth. Job 41 and 15. I... Put a hook in Lathiathan's nose, a cord around his tongue, and I bore a throne in his jaw. Job 41, 1 and 2. Lord, you rule the sea and the waters by your strength. Do not let any evil waters overflow our lives. The channels of waters are seen at your rebuke. Psalms 18, 15. Rebuke all proud and ignorant demons that are cursed. Psalms 119 and 21. I bind every sea master that would attack our lives or region in the name of Jesus. Limitations 4 and 3. Bring down the haughty demons by your power. Bring down the proud demons that are exalting themselves against your people. Scatter the proud in the imagination of their hearts. God, you resist the proud. Your power is against the high ones who have rebelled against you. Let not the food of pride come against us, Psalms 36 and 11. Break the crown of pride, Isaiah 28 and 1. Break, 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 I'm sorry, break rehab in pieces. As, as one that is slain, scatter your enemies with your strong arm, Psalms 89 and 10. Let not Lathine oppress us. Psalms 119 and um, 122. O Lord, render a reward to Lathine. Psalms 42 and 2. Raise up and watch over Lathine. Job 7 and 12. Let not the proud waters go over our soul. Psalms 124 and 5. I rebuke and destroy every trap the devil has set for, for me and for us this morning. Psalms 140 and 5. Let the proud spirits humble and fall. Jeremiah 50 and 32. Break the pride of Lathantis powers, Lathantis, uh, Leviticus 26 and 19. Awake, awake, put on strength, O, uh, o arm of the Lord, and command the helpers of Rahab to bow before the Lord, Isaiah 51 and 9. 
I strip the scales of Lathartha and take away his armor. Job 41, 15. Luke eleven twenty two. 22. Cast aboard the rage of thy wrath and the base Leviathan, Job 40 and 11. Smite through Leviathan with your understanding, Job 26 and 12. Look on Leviathan and bring him low. Tread him down in pieces, Job 40 and 12. Rebuke the bulls of Bashan, Psalms 22 and 12. Let the mighty be spoiled. Let the oaks of Bashan how Zechariah 11 and 2. If it wasn't in the Bible, then why is it in the, why is it here? Every, everything has a scripture to it. Bring your people from Basham. Bring your people from the depths of the sea. Psalm 68, 22. Smite Basham and the king of Og. Psalms 135 and 10 and 11. I bind and cast out all my controlling spirits of the octopus and squid in the name of Jesus. Let the waters of the deep be dried up and destroy every spirit of Leviathan. Job 41, 31, Isaiah 44, 27. In the name of Jesus, we dry up your rivers, your seas, and your springs. Isaiah 19 and 5. I call for a drought upon Leviathan's waters. Jeremiah 50, 38. Jeremiah 51 and 36. This spirit is well and reverent. And this spirit is around and is doing what it's doing. Heavenly Father is calling out your name in the spirit. And here are God is calling on calling your names out. Every one of you. Good shall come into thee, Job 22 and 21. Be ye kind to one another, Ephesians 4 and 32. He shall sustain thee, Psalms 52, 55 and 22. Blessed are the pure in heart, Matthews 5 and 8. Thou shalt make thy way prosperous, prosperous, Joshua 1 and 8. Let there be no strife, Genesis 13 and 8. Good, God loveth a cheerful giver, 2 Corinthians 9 and 7. His understanding is in, is in, um, is in, in, infinite, Psalms 147 and 5. Burden shall be taken away, Isaiah 10, 27. He be not far from every one of us, Acts 17, 27. How great is his goodness, Zechariah 9, 17. Be gentle unto all, 2 Timothy 2 and 24. Continue ye in my love, John 15 and 9. The Lord preserveth the faithful, Psalms 31 and 23. Be not hasty in thy spirit to do to, to anger, Ecclesiastes 7 and 9, make to yourself friends, Luke 16 and 9. Thy work shall be re rewarded, Jeremiah 31 and 16. Thou, they that seek the Lord understands all things, Proverbs 28 and 5. The Lord is our rock, Psalms 18 and 2. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Nehemiah 8 and 10 and everything ye are enriched by him first corinthians 1 and 5 rejoice in the lord psalms 91 and 12 be thankful unto him and bless his name psalms 104 have faith and doubt not matthew 21 and 21 comfort your heart colossians 4 and 8 peace be unto all first samuel 25 and 6 i put my trust in the lord psalms 23 and 8 we will walk in his path, Isaiah 23, I'm sorry, Isaiah 2 and 3. My cup runneth over, Psalms 23 and 5. So these are what God is saying about us. We must stop all this foolishness, y'all, because God is coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We all got people that don't like us, and that's okay. They don't. They 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 can keep on unliking. It doesn't matter. We got to do what he say. We got to get on here and do what God say do, no matter what. We got to thank the Lord every day for even allow us to to breathe. Some people didn't even wake up this morning. There are people in the hospital fighting for their lives, but God gave us another chance to get it right with Him. So I thank God this morning for um, being on here. Um, like I said before, when I come on here, I'm going to do what God say do. And uh, if there's a problem with anything I say or do, take it to the Lord. Because everything I everything that you hear me say, I always back it up with scriptures. So if there's anything in here that's bothering anybody, then take it up with Jesus. Because everything, again, that I say, it, I back it up with a scripture. It's not coming from me. It's coming with a scripture. 
It's coming with the scripture. So if anybody has, you know, any questions, please, you can uh, always inbox me. You can inbox me and I will answer any questions that I, I can, um, you know, if there's something you want to know that is private, just call me. Just call me. My phone number is is is, is on on uh my phone number is on Facebook. Go inbox me. I'll call you. I'll talk to you. I'll pray with you. Whatever it is that you, you need to do, just just let me know. I, I'm here to help. I'm not here to to judge nobody. I'm not here to downgrade anybody. I'm here to just say what does say the Lord. And the reason why I'm saying the things that I'm saying because it's it's a problem, and God is saying speak on it. Somebody need to be delivered from it. We are in our last hour, whether we believe it or not. We are in our last hour. It may look like everything is good. It may look like the sky is bright. It may look like we have a whole lot of time. But the signs of the times are here. We don't have that much time. And we're going to be accountable for everything we do, everything we say, how we treat people, how we act. So we got to make sure that we're living holy and living right. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you for being on here. Um, I thank you again. Please share the broadcast. I pray that somebody gets something out of um, me being on here. And if there's something that you want to talk about, if there's something that you want, if that's in your heart that you want me to speak on, drop it in my inbox. If, if you want to know something, you want to talk about something, I'll be happy to um, to do that. If, if, if there's something you want to know. You want to talk about something, trust, or you want to talk, whatever you want to talk about, drop it in my inbox. I will be happy to search the Bible, get the scriptures and talk about it. This is called real talk. That means that if there's something you want to talk about, it's just not about me. It's about what you guys want to talk about. Drop it, drop it in the um, inbox and, and we can have a conversation, you know? We, we, we can have a conversation. So let's just, just do that. Let's just do that. Because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to stay focused on encouragement. Absolutely. But when God tells me to get on here and speak, I'm going to speak. And if he tells me to say something that needs to be said, I'm going to say it because that's what God wants me to do. And I am going to be accountable to him. So I will do what he say do. Whatever God tells me to do, that's what I'm going to do because I'm an obedient child. Amen. God bless you guys. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, again, I hope you got something out of this. I pray God's protection over you today. God's blessings over you today. Thank you for being on here again. God bless you. And like I said, if there's something you guys want to talk about, or something you want to know, let me, you know, come on here and tell me. That's It's called real talk. It's called real talk. It's just not about me coming on here and talking about certain things. It's about what you want to talk about. What do you want to know about? Is there something you want to talk about? Drop it in the inbox. And we're going to talk about it. Amen? This is not all about me. It's about you guys. What do you want to know? Amen. God bless you this morning. God bless you this morning. Thank you so much. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Amen. God bless you.